Hello, Pinellas County Schools teachers. I'm Kevin Hendrick, Associate Superintendent for Teaching and Learning, and here with a digital learning update for this week. As we now know, we will be doing digital learning the rest of this quarter and the rest of the school year. And as we turn the calendar to May, and we normally think of testing calendars and test prep, we have an opportunity to instead make May one of innovation, creativity, and fun for our students. I encourage you to use the digital learning resources that are available to you to make this a great May for our students. This week, we're gonna take a look at a few of those resources in action and highlight some best practices from across our district. Let's start at Curlew Creek Elementary School in fourth grade with Mrs. Wentworth. She is having her students create Flipgrid videos and they are being creative in their digital imaging and Mrs. Wentworth is deciding how to share those back out with the students and bring that creativity and excitement back to them on an individual basis. As we jump down to Melrose Elementary in Mrs. Robertson's class, students are showing what they're learning using different musical terms, some of them singing, some of them dancing, and all of them having fun in these short videos. Over at Kings Highway Elementary, we see Mrs. Park's class has created commercials for books that they've been reading during this time of digital learning. Let's check out one of those videos from one of her students. Books, we all love them, especially with this virus going around, we have nothing to do. So my favorite book, Who's There? It's basically about knock-knock jokes. I really like this book because I do like jokes. Like, let me tell you one. Knock-knock, who's there? Senior. Senior who? Senior so nosy. I'm not going to tell you. That's why I really like this book. I mean, because it's interesting and not very long at all. I mean, I know it seems like very, like, um, a lot of pages, but it's actually not, not that much. So yeah, come get your coffee today. Who's there? Over 100 classic knock-knock jokes. That was fantastic. Thank you, Cheyenne, for keeping us interested in your books and to all of our teachers who are experimenting with Flipgrid in new and exciting ways. Let's look at another one of our resources, Safari Montage, and jump back up to Curlew Creek Elementary. Mrs. Ayer's first graders are using Safari Montage to get their daily lessons from their teacher. The great thing about what Mrs. Ayers is doing is these lessons are available to the students at their own speed. They can rewatch them and parents can engage as well. And when we go back to face-to-face -face learning, she'll have a bank of lessons that she can reuse in her own classroom and small groups and a lot of other ways as well. Up at Eastlake Middle School, teachers are using Microsoft Teams and using the channels to have their students participate in group talks. Teachers have proposed different questions and in this class, Mrs. Heron's class, Students are grouped together as eight students and they're answering questions going back and forth in a moder moderated, facilitated chat. It's a great use of Microsoft Teams to keep kids engaged. And on a district-wide level, district staff developers are helping run trainings for teachers across the district. This past week, over 200 elementary school ELA teachers participated in a Tiny Topics update with ELA staff developers that was really well received. I encourage you to check out these resources and all the trainings available to you in the Tech Toolbox on the Digital Learning SharePoint site. We continue to see these great uses of creativity and innovation across our district, and I hope that you'll find a way to make that happen in the month of May as well. Let's make it a great week in Pinellas County Schools.